KPI stands for Key Performance Indicators and are extensively used in supply chain management. Generally speaking, a KPI is a measure of how a business is performing in a specific area where a value being measured is supposed to indicate how effectively the company is achieving its business targets. In other words, it's a way to evaluate performance success. You may also have heard of the terms high-level and low-level KPIs, and simply put, high-level KPI measures the performance of the business as a whole, whilst low-level KPIs drill down on the more specific departments and processes, such as marketing, HR, sales, and so on. KPIs are used extensively, but nonetheless can often be misleading. What a KPI should be varies from business to business and from industry to industry. They should all, however, have these three core characteristics. Number one, KPIs should be expressed in monetary amounts, for example, dollars, not percentages. Percentages, such as service level, is not actually a clear indicator of how well the stock is being managed. A 95% stock level may seem high, but it may simultaneously mask the fact that you are actually losing millions of dollars in sales annually, which completely changes the perspective. It is therefore very important to have the KPI use monetary amounts as units of measurements. Furthermore, when they are in these absolute terms, you can compare them across all of your KPI boards. Second is that the KPIs you have chosen to represent your business performances should not be redundant, meaning that they conclude the same thing. For example, a KPI of sales before tax and another KPI of sales after tax are a variant of the same thing and are taking up unnecessarily space instead of other KPIs. Remember, a KPI is a key performance indicator, not just any performance indicator. Generally speaking, there should be less than 10. An example of a non-redundant KPI could be the total working capital, the non-quality generating costs per month, and the gross margin per month. If you have things that are a variant of one another, you are simply wasting your slots. Lastly, the KPI should be a call to action. Are the numbers worth to be read and monitored every day by a human? Is there any call to action associated to it? For example, for an e-commerce, a KPI could be the number of sales made per hour, where one looks at the expected sales per hour compared to the actual sales per hour. This can be very helpful as websites are frequently down in the e-commerce industry, causing customers to be unable to make purchases. An abrupt drop in sales due to this problem will be clearly indicated in this KPI and will therefore call for an immediate action. An example of a non-KPI, but just a PI in this case, would be the number of square meters you are currently using in your warehouse. The fact that you are using 60% of your warehouse is likely not something worth monitoring every single day in this case. In conclusion, the key performance indicators, or KPIs for a business, should be expressed in monetary absolute values instead of percentages not be redundant and kept to a number below 10, and have an immediate call to action associated to them in order to be classified as important enough to be monitored on a continuous basis.